Well, I guess this is it. I was really hoping I, I somewhat envisioned when I signed up for this that we'd go to the smallest room, there'd be people standing in the back, and there'd be people, you know, uh, sharing a seat and everything, but that's probably not going to happen. Anyways, I'm Mike, um, Mike Moon. I'm just a regular guy with a regular daytime job, and um, I watched a show, Torrent, on uh, G4 Tech TV last April. And they showed on there how to get started and do video blogging. For me, video blogging was great because it gave me that opportunity to just blog, but within a video kind of stance. And I thought, geez, you know, I've got a lot of great ideas. i got a lot of great thoughts. Maybe someday they'll, uh, they'll all be, they'll all make sense and then somebody will say, hey, this guy's what a find, you know. He's been on the net for years. It moved fairly quickly from that to just saying, you know what, this is about me <coughs> and, and my thoughts of the day, my life, my family, and that's pretty much where it ends. There are a few people that come along to enjoy the ride, as it were, but really, at the end of the day, it's just about me and my family and, and what we do. So I thought, um, when I was reading about the, uh, the pod camp, that the least I could do is share that little bit of information that I have. I'm certainly no expert in all of this, but um, I really simply, this is all you need. Freeblog.com. This, is, this uh, website has video tutorials on how to get started. It tells you how to do the video, how to edit the video in both PC and Mac, how to get the video on the net, how to get an RSS feed, how to have the video pop up in a window, how to have video stay in your page. It does it all. I'm just here to say freeblog.org is all that it's about. They're certainly going to be able to help you. There's no cost. Um, Ryan and um, and Michael Verdi and uh, Ryan uh, Hodson, they, um, they're fantastic people. And just as uh, Chris was saying earlier, the, um, they just give it away for free. You know, they, they're just sharing their information so other people can, can take that information and use it how they see fit. And I'm just passing on that same message that, you know, I'm no expert, but it's working for me. Here are the steps that I use to produce a, a video blog. Um, do you want to bring up one more? And there's a couple here I want to show you if I could. Can you go down to uh, Snowfall? It's, it's uh, dated February 3rd. Um, no, February 3rd, further down there. Okay, so good, yeah. So, I just want to give you a couple samples of, um, of, of what I do. And again, this isn't, this normally takes me less than an hour. I want to be out there enjoying life. I don't want to be sitting at my computer, uh, you know, saying, no, 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 don't bother me. You know, I, I've only got several hours left to, to do this, whatever I'm doing. <coughs> Because to me, honestly, it's, this is just video of my life with the idea that when I'm 100 years old and I forget how to feed myself, I can still look back at these videos and remember what it was like 60 years ago. And Lip TV, I upload all my stuff to there. It is my stuff. I retain full rights on that stuff. I also keep a copy for myself. It cost me zero dollars after the video camera. After the video camera, and it could be a webcam, it could be whatever, zero dollars after that. And for me, that works good for me. So I use uh, yeah, you want. I use v, uh, vpip.org, which oh well, better cancel go over. I save it in a couple different formats. Now this is what I'm talking about. This, this is snow. 
earlier we saw that it was bright and sunny out. Now it's snowing like nothing. Snowing like nothing? Snowing like hell. <laughs> no, and it's, uh, it's really coming down. Maybe you take a person. And if you followed along my blog, you would have saw earlier in January how disappointed I was. It was freaking Ooh. sunny out at 10 plus 10. This could keep doing this for days. And as a real Canadian, I really must have some <laughs> snow to, to make, it, make summer feel so much better. This is spring. This is spring. Going into spring. Together. We, we as a family now enjoy the vlogging together. 
the kids come and they say, hey, dads, you know, uh, can, can we bowl tonight? We got a week for Christmas. Can we bowl tonight? And maybe we could vlog it. So we do that. You know, we have the cameras out, we pass the cameras around. My 12 year old daughter for Christmas now has her own camcorder so that she can videotape the cat or her friends or what have you with the same idea of building a lifetime of video moments that I can go back myself or my friends or my family to enjoy the moments, to remember these thoughts, these things that happen. I'm not out to make money. I'm not out to, to quit my day job, although I'd really like to. Um, but for me, it's just, it's just about me and, and, and my, my little corner of the world. And again, if I can pass on this information to you, then you can start doing the same thing. And if you want to go out and save the, the seals, or if you want to go out and end poverty, well then you can use video to do that. Because I'm, I'm doing okay here, and it's just about me and my family. So if you had a real important cause, well then, you know, you got the power. So I shoot the video. An excellent site if you're just getting into video, or even if you've been in it a while, is izzyvideo.com. He has, uh, he's got 52 episodes now on how to shoot better video. And you don't need all the equipment. He, he talks about having the equipment. But uh, a lot of times it's just about shooting smarter and, and having that work out. I capture and I download from my camcorder and I have two different camcorders. Casey's got my one, which is a mini DV. <laughs> and um, that, I really like the mini DV because of, its, uh, um, because of the settings that it has on there. But one thing you'll notice that from my other video where I was out in the cabana, that's where my wife and I get away from it all. It's a, it's a six by four shed. Um, it's where we have our cigarettes. Um, so we go out to the cabana. And in the summer, one of the things that we did was, because the cabana wasn't very uh, vlogging compatible, we got a door from the neighbor and cut the door in half so the top part would swing open to give you that kind of Mr. Ed idea. So you can lean on there and get the outside without getting all the drafts from the wind. So with this camcorder, it's a great camcorder mini DV. It doesn't like the snow and it doesn't like the cold. So I had nothing but problems going out because of condensation and such. So I ended up getting a smaller one, which uh, just uses SD RAM. Very nice video. This is the Xactia brand. And uh, if you check a lot of the bloggers out, you'll find that this is the, uh, the camera of choice. They also have an HD high definition model for around uh, $800 Canadian. There you go. What did I tell you? So uh, I take the video from here and again just to the, to the computer via SD RAM and a USB connection. This camera here, less than $200 on eBay. That camcorder over there, $250 on eBay. You know, we're, we're not talking big bucks here. My first um, camcorder that I had was a small one like this. Uh, much lesser quality, cost me $85. And again, you know, you got your cell phones, same thing. You're just capturing video off it. I have a question. What resolution do you need? Well, it's a good question because it depends where you want to go with it. If you want to make DVDs and you want to do home movies and all the rest of it, I think minimum you've got to look at a 640 by 480. But if you're in HD, what's HD coming through? Us? 780. 780? So, but my stuff is all 320 by 240. So most of my video, I'm just doing in 320 by 240. Myself, I will have a tray of 650 because I have VGS, 44 yeah, I do most of my stuff in 320 by 240, and although other people are doing um, video and they're um, doing much bigger videos, for me, I'm kind of I want to be conscious of the web and the space and the amount of data and you know, hey, that's great that there's a whole bunch of us out there videoing, but if we're all sending up terabytes of information, somebody somewhere along the lines is going to say, hey, too much, it's costing too much. 
we're, we're, it's gonna, we're gonna start charging. So I'm gonna do my little bit now and try to keep the style, file size small. Uh, you know, 320 by 240 is fine. You saw my messages, they got through just fine without, um, without uh, any real problems or, uh, and, and here we are on a big, uh, on a big screen. Yeah, your videos are about five to ten minutes. Yeah, I, yeah. Normally three to eight is about the longest that I like to go. And what would be the file size for your three twenty by two forty resolution? Um, I would say a five minute video yeah. is probably going to be uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah. And I I put out in two different formats. Um, one I put out in MP four. Uh, one of the reasons for that is I use uh, ULED video. Um, it's not the premier of, uh, but I've got an older PC and it seems to work fine. Um, and so one of the things it does is it outputs in an iPod compatible version. That's the MP4. I also put out an M or a WMV version, Windows Media version, and that's really how I started. Um, because my friends and the people that I work with and my family. They own PCs and they don't have to mess around and get new plugins and get new software and you know call Mike. How do I set this up? It just works for them and that's good for me. On Blip, after I upload it to Blip, it can also convert it to an FLV file or a flash video. It does that for me. I don't even have to worry about that. With with flash video, you got compatibility everywhere, everywhere from a PDA to a cell phone, just about anywhere. So that works, uh, works good for me too. So I send up two videos each time. I send up a WMV and I send up a, um, and I send up a, uh, a movie version or a QuickTime version. So again, we have uh, Movie Maker uh, for video, sorry. So I captured the video from the camcorder either with FireWire from there or through the SD card. And I really like the SD card because it's quick. You know, you, you can shoot a whole day, and I shoot it now at 640 by 480 because I can. And it's a matter of seconds, and it's on my PC. Um, where with FireWire, you've got to watch the video again. So you've got a 45 minute video, you've got to watch it basically again for 45 minutes to capture it. So I capture it, download it, then I edit it, add effects in a title, and not a lot of effects. Um, here's one of my early ones in my uh, experimental. Journey with beginning. So this here, this video, I have just set up my camcorder to get some. So, cars driving by. And what did I get? A little chunk of paper rolling along the curbside. With a little bit of panning, a little bit of slow-mo, more pot safe music. And the name of the song is Beginning. And then they go on talking about something that has not, or singing about something that has nothing to do with what you're uh, with what you're doing. So you yeah, add some uh, video effects. Movie Maker is inclu already included in Windows XP. Um, Movie Maker 2. Point whatever. Avid Free DV is also another free one, and they have on their site, which is uh, avid.com free DV. They also have tutorials on how to use it, video tutorials on how to use the software, how to bring in titles, how to do all that stuff. 
Then I export it to MV or WMV and, um, and movie. And again, that's just for compatibility. Once I got into the video blogging, and once I got out there and, uh, and started talking to people, I was a rare bird because I used a PC. Most of everybody's using a Mac that's doing this. Are you exporting to the same site, two different files? Or to yes, and Blip is absolutely fantastic for this. When I send the file up, I, um, can you bring up uh, Blip and the uh, upload? Do you have an account? Okay. And just bring up the upload option. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh crap, we're so, looking at our stats. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you go to upload, when you go to upload, you put in your title. Oh, go back to the top. You put in your title, you put in your description of what you're going to do, any links that you're going to have. Then you put in your file. Then uh, Rudy, you sign the browse button here. There's add a different um, add an additional format. And that adds another another box that you can add another type file. Before, up until six months ago. I was actually sending up two files. One was a movie, and then one was the WMV. My RSS feed was always linked to the movie one, just because of that overall compatibility that everybody has with the, with the movie version. Um, but now it, it includes both. Um, on the SD um, one, uh, what's the biggest card you put in there? This is a this is one of the uh, this, uh, this is like second generation where the HD's got to be fifth or sixth generation for the Exactia. Um, this here takes upwards of a gig. With a gig, I can do 50 minutes at its highest re uh, resolution, or if I'm going to do 320 by 240, I can get four hours of video. Yeah. How much space do you find the free editing software takes up when you're it? Well I, use movie, well, I used to use Movie Maker, and it's already included in XP, so the answer is zero there. Um, but yeah, but free, I can't believe it anymore and say, you know, 20 megs in size. So then I export, I upload to blip, blip.tv. They're a real godsend when it comes to this. Uh, there's no cost to it. There's no advertising clicked onto my videos. There's no uh, advertising on my, on my page because I... Uh, I, I cross post the video automatically. All the text and everything that I enter up on Lit TV, I have an auto cross posting to my blogger site, and that's where my, my main uh, site is. It can also do to WordPress. I have a MySpace site, I have it automatically go over there. Um, I have the tags go to Delicious, I have the tags go to Technorati. It automatically goes over to iTunes. And we can also go over to the Internet Archive, um, which is, I guess, fantastic. But for me, I just I don't trust the place. I mean, only because you keep, it takes absolutely forever to get anything off of it. And that's now in 2007. What's it going to be like in 2027 or 2050? So I'm kind of scared about that. Maybe I should continue to do that. But I don't know. It's just my stuff. You know, I don't need it to be archived forever on the Internet. It's going to be around, and I can always uh, just keep it on my own CDs at home. Um, Blip also converts it to an FLV, flash video. Yeah, I just a quick one. Back on step four, are you exporting? Are you exporting to both uh, MOV and MP4? No, no. no. <coughs> I, I'm just doing MP4, but a lot of people don't know what that is. Okay. Or to, depending on which software you can do, it's still giving you that iPod compatibility. But it would be just an MLB file. But you're doing that within your uh, video editing software? Yeah, ULED gives me that option where I can just export right in I, iPod compatible MP4 version, so that works for me. Is it just called ULED? Yeah. Well, ULED uh, Video Product, they have a whole line of, okay. of video, uh, uh, picture, uh, even audio, I think. Right now, I think they, uh, they just, I just saw they had a price again. I'm not promoting ULED any more than any of the other ones, but I just saw it yesterday. It's $85 US for the latest version with all the bells and whistles, or you can upgrade for like $45. And the reason I mentioned the upgrade is when I had got this camera for $200, um, it already included a, a version that I could simply upgrade uh, to one of the latest versions. 
So I use a, a VPIP or VPIP, which is um, video in place. Free blog, again, freeblog.org. You have no idea how many problems I had with this uh, with this site this morning. So make sure you get it right. Freeblog.org. They have a pop-up window, so you can have your video come up in a pop-up window. On mine, yeah. And on mine, I use uh, a video picture-in-picture, picture, or, uh, sorry, um, video in place. So the video just stays there, so people aren't taken to another page, or the page doesn't go away or anything like that. What's the difference between what VPIP does and what's... Oh, uh, sorry, this is just a, um, a JavaScript that allows the video to stay right on your page and go from a picture, which I also send to Blip, that says, here's the title screen I want to show. It plays it right there. Your page, if you didn't have it, it would go to a new screen and play the movie or go to the new screen and play the WNV. So otherwise it goes to the TV? No, 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 no. It would just, it would just the same way when you're loading an MOV file, it's going to go to a new page and open it up quick time in a new page. So this just makes it so it stays right on my site. And there's a little button you can stop it and move on to the next video. Okay, and uh, you mentioned you leave, you also mentioned so, uh, adding 3 DV. Yeah. Do I need you leave? No, 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 no. You let's just what I, I'm using. Okay. There's lots out there. If you want to spend thousands of dollars, you certainly can get some absolutely fantastic software. Okay. But I'm just. If you wanted to do more research, can you just name the brand of camera you're using? Oh yeah, mine is uh, is an Exactia. It's X A C T I. Samuel. Yeah. And they have a whole line. Well, they have a, yeah, they have a whole line of uh, of, um, of camcorders to choose from. But again, uh, this is an older model. Mine's the old C40. The video I, I absolutely love. The um, I, in this model here, I find that the, the sound a little a little tinny. Um, not like the camcorder, and I think with the camcorder that also gives me the option of uh, of adding a boom mic onto it. Does that, does that one have a line in? No. Mine does. Yeah. The HD model does have a line in, so you can get an extra mic. Mm -hmm. It's not mounted on it. You just plug it in, and you have to have something. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the HD1, I think it's the HD1 I think it's the only HD1 they have. Yeah. Because um, I can capture a mic, there's several mics. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anybody saw that video that was on this camera. Okay. And actually, that was right on the, they have the settings you can do web quality, which is actually, you can drag it right over, and if you're not editing it, you'll actually play the light pod right off the camera. So it's iPod kind of off the camera, which I like because I don't like editing. So. <laughs> I shoot and upload this all the time. Right? You shoot the top of the hair. Thought more like straight shooting, no lighting, no lighting. I do not. Yeah, I turn the camera on, I turn the camera off. And then you make the video go in. No? Sorry, it's. Yeah. You can't get there. Yeah, that's why I bought one. And one of the things I was really hoping from, uh, uh, yeah, 800 for the HD version, and that'll give you HD quality, high definition. And I can tell you the truth, I don't shoot HD much. No. Most of the stuff I've been shooting all weekend, actually in web quality, you get like five or seven hours on a two gig card. I can get like an hour in HD, so, yeah. and it's good enough. I mean, you see most of the yeah. stuff out there. And there's a real vlogging community out there too. In the same way you have your podcast community, there's a whole vlogging community out there too. Some fantastic people doing uh, um, some absolutely amazing work. Um, uh, young cinema photographers uh, that are really just taking this well beyond. Uh, I guess it's that whole idea of, of just taking those home movies out of your home. I'm going through my life, and I here's my life. Well, what the hell? Let me share with the rest of you too. Any questions? I mean, 
I really didn't want to just stand up here and teach. Right? Um, I came in a little late, so I don't know if you mentioned already, but the free blog people go to book. Yep. Uh, secrets of uh, video blogging. And if you go to this site, you can download chapter five, which is video editing with uh, iMovie on the Mac and Windows Media Maker on PC. And they have tutorials all on the site, video tutorials on, on each step of this all along the way. Fantastic view. Alright, so is anyone already doing a video blog? Really? Yeah, video and audio, sometimes studio, sometimes video. Um, I have uh, uh, Casey and Rudy helping me edit from Black Cast. Um, the video that Casey's uh, doing now, uh, that will be put on my blog um, at some point. Uh, again, the, the part for me is, and one of the things that I, I liked about the video blog is that I could go do my, do my talk, do my thoughts of the day, or whatever it might be, then go in and you know, spend 10 minutes and put it on the web. But when I'm now looking at a whole weekend of video, that's, you know, I'm not sure I want to sit around on my computer for several days. And... So, I'm not a journalist, but if I were, and I was doing an interview with you, and I was asking you, you know, why you do this, what would be your response to a journalist? Um, again, it's for me. It's for, it really is just for me. My initial thoughts were, when I first started out on one of my first or second blogs, that maybe my thoughts and my ideas would be out there to change the world. But that really changed in that um, it's evolved, and it's just about me and my time and my family. And I think also just with that idea that this is a video diary, in the same way that a blog is kind of a written diary on the web that you share with people. This is my video diary. And so that I can go back and laugh at myself or laugh at the situation, or remember that day, or remember that time. You know, it's only, I'm, I'm less than one year into this, so what will it be like in five years, or 25 years, or 40 years from me? How and little bloggy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll have one attached to my walker. <laughs> so who would be your ideal audience, though, besides yourself and your My uh, Friends, um, people that come along and just enjoy the show. Um, I'm not really a, I mean, I look at the numbers, and the numbers excite me. And I can see that I, I can, I know I have some control. I can, you know, I do a, a vlog on my son camping out to get the weed. <laughs> and, you know, the numbers go through the roof depending on who you tell and where you tell it to. So basically you're, you're very grassroots as opposed to having a corporate or business office. Absolutely. Yeah, this is, this is just me and my opportunity. One of the other things that, that we started doing um, last year, and it kind of, kind of, tweaks along the lines of the whole corporate idea is uh, there was a, a term that got thrown out in one of the bloggers group, tourist in my own town. If, if you're a podcaster, you know the troubles that it can sometimes be when you put a mic in somebody's face and they kind of lock up and they're kind of, you know, wait till you put a video camera in front oh, of Oh yeah, face. I just did. Last time that I was, I um, like the me. last time that I came down to the Toronto show, I was at the GO station and I was uh, getting a video shot of the train and people leaving the train or whatever, and the picture of the security guard turning around and coming over and drilling me on why, what I was videoing, what, what I was doing. So it's, it's pretty cool that you have that, but it's, uh, it's, so anyway, sorry, back to where I began with this. So the idea of tourists in my own town. If you're a tourist, hey, you can, you're allowed to have a video camera. That's what you're doing. You're a tourist. You take pictures of stuff. So we started going out to places within our own town. I live in Oshawa. So we started going to um, a local parks, uh, local events. And we had our video camera out there, and we're Joe Tourist. And then we basically would do a review of it to say, you know what? We went to this event. We went to this park. Isn't it weird that there's no wildlife here? Isn't that really weird that next door is a nuclear station? But we don't hear any birds, we don't hear anything. <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, so we do that part. We talk about, you know, it was a really nice site. Uh, we, you know, we recommend it for people, but not having any, any animals was weird. We took that one step further. There was uh, an air show that came, and it was a corporate air show. So an air show with a, um, uh, with a conference attached, so people could go in and buy a plane or whatever. And I said, hey, 
I've got some videos I'd like to show you of, of us tourists in our own town, and uh, these, and I'd like to come to your show. We need four tickets for a family of four. So I said, here you go, here's four tickets for a family of four. We wouldn't have gone otherwise. So, you know, we, we went, we did the show, complete colossal waste of time for us to go. It was really just that corporate an event that it was just, uh, I was almost to the point of being upset that I saw these families coming because they thought it was going to be an air show, and it really was just nothing more than people trying to sell their planes as they fly by. So we want to expand on that. We want to go to other places. There's museums in town we'd like to go to. There's other events that are coming up where we want to go to. And again, this is all through tours in my own town. So yeah, as I said, I'm Mike. Welcome to my blog, my world. I don't have any advertising on it. I just if it got really popular, would you put something? <laughs> well, actually, it does give you that option. Mike Booth, the next day, Frank. That's right. That's right. Um, I think it would have to. I think it would definitely have to be in tune with where I'm at. I, I you know, I, I, I just not into to kind of selling out unless it's something I truly believe in. And that also kind of goes to one more step. Um, we had a pool last summer. And, Dad, and Dylan said, Dad, what happened to the pool? I said, what are you talking about? And it was one of those blow-up ones with a big ring, you know, 15-footer. Went out, and it's completely flat in the backyard, and there's just much water. So I went, and I got my camera. I'm like, look at this. The whole thing's sliced out or whatever. You know? So next thing I do, I set the camera up, and I'm saying, hi, yeah, Delfino, I, I bought your pool last year. And we've only used it about six weeks, but it's, it's all ripped out. Sorry, you know, it's out of warranty. He's like, what kind of warranty is that? You don't even warranty it for a whole season, just six months. And if you're in Canada, that's two months. Right. So they said, no, there's nothing we can do. So again, you know, being the kind of person I am, I had to cut up the pool to get it in the garbage bags. So I cut it out, and I'm, of course, vlogging the whole thing. Cut out the part that says Delfino. Not satisfied with that. I get the spray paint out. Sucks. Go out in front of my house. Sign in the street. Delfino sucks. Leave it there for a week. Of course, vlogging this. I had neighbors come over and said, you know, my friends have asked me, who's this Delfino guy? Why do you hate him so much? <laughs> so again, power of the kind of power of the video. That series on the pool and its uh, uh, you know breaking down and no warranty in Delfino. That's got the highest numbers I've got. So that word will get out. Actually, a lot of corporations pay people, either an employee or a service, to search the web for negative comments about the talks, mm -hmm. so they won't hear about it, even though you're just a little guy you're not for. Yeah. And in the same way, when we see something that's good, we're there to blog that too. You know, we're, we've got the video there to say, you know what, I bought this product, I'm really happy with this product, uh, you know, not, I, I'm not paid by anybody, but if I'm willing to bitch about something, then I better be willing to, to stand up and give them a pat on the back when I see something good. So there is an aim of social responsibility in some of what you're doing. It's not just personal. Well, you're right. But I mean, I also have to think of my immediate audience. I have my 12-year-old daughter. I've got my 70-year-old mom. You know, I've got people I work with. I mean, there's times that I just, you know, I really want to bitch about my job. But, you know, I just, you know, that's not going to do anybody any good to put that out at this point. So, yeah, there is responsibility, but then again, I just remind myself of my immediate, you know, if you're okay to have your mom watch it, then, you know, it's probably okay. So. Are you posting YouTube as well? No. I have one video on YouTube. I saw um, a fellow blogger who put something on YouTube. It was a fantastic video. And uh, it got on the front page and got you know 1.5 million hits within a week. And I read the comments. You know, this he's this he's that he's you know his sexual preference. And it just went on and on and on. And to me, that's just that's not what's going. I hope those people don't find me. So, all right. Anything else? Anybody? Well, thanks for coming out.